Hi, good morning everyone. Good afternoon, good evening. So today we're gonna teach you how rewiring a bedroom. Okay, so we bring our power source or our uh, line horn room to the small detector. Then from the small detector to where it goes? From the small detector, you bring it down to the switch box to get power. The, to the light to the so uh that, that ceiling a, light right the, that's yeah that's a that's ceiling light that's a return we need a return for the ceiling light and up the after that we come here we come here where it goes that for the this one detector we come here for our flip flop come here down here and then for the switch um for the pit switch for the pit outlet and then we put outlet right we go here again we fit the second outlet here see it and then we go here again we go up and then we go down we fit our tear outlet and then we go here again we go here again this is gonna be outdoor light sensor light we fit our sensor light and then after our sensor light we go down go down and fit our our outlet the last one so the electrical is not the hard it's, you just need to be safe when you do electrical and know what you're doing. Um, by code, we can put 20 outlet in one circuit breaker, but I, as an electrician, I don't recommend it. That's the maximum the NEC asks, but if you use our, if you use your knowledge, you cannot put 20 because let's say I, here. I had, I had a question about the, uh, the staplers. How do they must be like um, this, a specific um, yeah, this, space on one yeah, of yeah, other good. ones or? Yeah, it's good. Look, this one's a fit one. You cannot put more than eight inches. This is good. So you can put, then after here, you have to put it four feet apart or four, six inches. So this one here, need to have one here. Oh, there's missing one. Yeah, see? Here's missing one. So the staple, you can't put the staple. You need to be careful when you put the staple. Don't damage the wire. See, if you push too much in, it's gonna damage the wire. It's not good. Then you're gonna have a problem over there. So it's it's not going that hard. It's just like just to hold a little bit, right? You have to hold it. Yeah. And then uh, for the um, our our wire here need to be at least six eight inches inside the box. We need to have a six inches look. I leave it always a little bit longer. Oh, the, those wires, they must be six inches a, a, six long? Eight, six inches, yeah. That way you can connect. This one we need to cut, but I always need extra, extra wire. It's for in case, huh? Yeah, for in case I need to do a pick till I have it there. You how to run a new breaker or how to run a new line for a bedroom. Okay, so why do you put this uh, up, this box right here? What is that in the middle? Can you explain that for me? Okay, this box is gonna be a light. Okay. Okay, that box, I put it over there for a reason. It's gonna be a smoke detector. Mm. Okay, and then. Then why you put a smoke detector on this on the entrance? It's easy to access to fix it. If they say if it's damaged or not working anymore, you can just bring a smoke lever in the lever on. To access, there is no furniture here. It's easy to access here and replace it. So instead of to be on the center, why didn't put on the middle? On the center, I mean. Oh, that is a very great question. So we didn't put it in the middle for one big reason. We put it. We didn't put it in the middle for two big reasons. Okay, if you the owner decided to replace the future light and put a ceiling fan, then the small detector it won't work because the fan blade it will push the the smoke away from the smoke detector and that is a big problem oh so that's the reason it's not going close to the uh ceiling light or because if the owner decides to put off a ceiling fan so it's not gonna work yeah no it's the smoke detector is still work but what is will happen it won't go on why because the blade or the ceiling fan it will push the smoke the away that's a big 
big problem. All right. So what do you, you put uh, one of the, um, I see uh, a box right here on the entrance too. Why are you putting on the, exactly on the entrance? Okay, this box is gonna be the switch. This, got, this box is gonna be the switch for the light. And we put it on the left side for one thing, one special thing. So the door is gonna be open to the right hand. Therefore, we put it on the left hand. So when you come into the room, you open the door with the right hand and you have the switch. So that's yeah, way that switch must be this depend of the door yeah, if it's a uh, it's left or right door. right hand yes. right if you, the door is gonna open to the left we have to put the I got it the switch the, the, yeah the um the the switch on the on that side okay. another uh, another thing about the boxes the feet box has to be no more than six feet from the opening door by cold by cold. Later I'm gonna teach you the code. Right now we just teach you the why. Okay, this one we have it from five feet eight inches. We're still on the code over there. Okay, from this box to this box, we need to have it 12 feet. You know, if I wanna save money or something, so I I put that box right here. I can sell this one. So from from from, from here through here it's not 12 feet, right? So, both heat loops, you need to go, hold, hold the temperature. Hold the temperature. Hold the temperature, please. Right there, just like this, like this one, like this, right here. Okay, from there to here, I need to have it, that big one, 12 loops, that, that one, 12 feet, like this. So, it should be right here, no? So, if I, I can put this box here, can sell this one if I want it, not to say material, but I'm gonna explain you why I do that. Okay, and then I come here again from this this wood, we have it here six feet, and then we have another six feet. This is perfect, it's under the cord from that corner to here to here. So let's say that one's out of cold, uh, no, no, because it's no, not a not a cold. This is they say you can put it the whole say you can put it 12 feet apart. Also, oh, the maximum the maximum is twelve feet, right? Twelve feet. Okay, so uh, it can it can be five, can four, be five, three, three, but not not more than twelve, right? Not more than twelve. All right. But this one I put for one bit reason. So they they say if you the owner wanna put a TV over there, the plug is here. It okay, I got it. Extension cord, because from here to here you need to run an extension cord. You put a TV here, you know. So that's the reason I put this one here. This one I put it, if you're the only one to put an AC, it doesn't need to run any... Any extension cord or extension something. Cord. And this one, if you want to put a small stem for the for the one lamp, it's there. Okay, so everything is for accessory for Everything's whoever's gonna live right here. The cord just ask for the minimum, okay? When you do electrical job, you have to use... The maximum, the maximum is 12 feet. Yeah. It can be five, four. It can be, yeah, yeah, okay. it can be more close, yeah. That's that's the maximum. So the minimum doesn't ask. Okay, okay everybody, thank you. Please subscribe well, or give us a like. Help us to grow our channel and God bless you. Okay, thank you guys everybody. Uh I wish you can guys uh follow us on um YouTube, put a um subscribe to get a notification whenever we upload a video. Please, we're trying, we're trying our best with our English. Thank you very much.